getting into a little bit of a more involved situation, we don't always combine just one fusion or one disc replacement. This is an example where two discs have gone bad and they're at the point where the discs need to be fused. But the third disc is still reasonable for a disc replacement. Our goal is always to try and figure out the surgery that will work best for the patient and last the longest before some other issue may come up. So in a situation where we have three discs that need surgery, but one is still a good candidate for a disc replacement, we like to replace that one even though the other two need to be fused. I believe this is a much better option for someone than just going ahead and fusing all three discs. That was more of the old school treatment, the cookie cutter approach of just fusing every disc that's gone bad. But we know if you fuse three discs, you give away more motion of the spine now. And the concern is now there's a lot of stress on the next disc and it may go on to require a fourth level of fusion down the road. By fusing the two that, that need it and replacing the one above, we keep better motion and we can protect the rest of the spine as the patient lives their life.